How are you guys doing? This is Mel in Bombay Cigars and hanging out at uh, Fame in downtown Palm Springs. So just a couple of customers walked in and uh, had a question, um, an age old question. What kind of cigar should I pair with my stout beer? Um, I mean, who does not enjoy a nice stout? Come on, that, that's a no brainer. Um, so this small video is regarding that. Check it out. So before we start pairing, let's let's get a small background about what a stout is. Um, it's a dark beer, and dark beer does not mean that they put colors on it. The barley's and the grains that they use for making a stout beer is slightly more roasted, so it has that smoky flavor because of the of the oats or the grains or any kind of grain, maybe wheat or whatever it is uh, that they are using. Uh, so it's 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 darker like that, and dark means more smokier flavors or flavors tending towards more um, more coffee notes, more chocolatey notes. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's bitter or sweet. Don't don't pass your judgment right away saying that. Darker beers are strong, alcohol, whatever. Not, don't worry about that part. When you're pairing a cigar with a darker beer, think about the complementing of the flavors. So if you have more stronger flavors or flavors like coffee, chicory, um, espresso, um, that tends to complement well with the flavors of milk, cream. Why do you add coffee, uh, sugar, uh, milk to your coffee or cream to your coffee? It complements. You don't add, add ketchup to your coffee. So keep it like that. Uh, complementing is the best way to pair something. And same thing with, 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 with cigar and beer. So today we are pairing um, a stout. Uh, this one is what is known as uh, uh, Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. Look at the color of it. Very less carbonation for beers like this. They are based out in Chicago. And um, this stout is aged for, I guess, six to eight months in bourbon barrels. And so it, it imparts that beer, imparts the flavor, the, the characters of, of bourbon whiskey. Um, we proudly serve it on tap here uh, at Fame. So just just having a nose, good nose to it. Mm. Caramels, a lot of caramel character. Um, coffee. Mm. Oh wow, slightly sweet, that bourbon sweetness to it. It has good amount of hops, but doesn't mean it's bitter. The, the viscosity or the or the or the or the or the body of the beer, the weight of the of the beer on, on your palate, quite beautifully balances with with that with that alcohol. With that, you know, it's slightly boozy because you know the alcohol percentage is probably more than 14 points in that. Um, so now look, trying to look for a cigar that pairs good with with beers like this or bigger beers what I call is more alcohol doesn't mean it's flavor when I call it big bigger means more alcohol the body is full is more viscous and in, in the case here we are we are pair, trying to pair it with a stout um, so what I chose today is Gaia Gaia Maduro um, It was rated really high with, I don't want to give the point structure, but it was rated really high by um, many of the prominent uh, cigar circles. Um, to talk about the cigar, as I said, complimenting it. Um, the cigar is, the wrapper that we use for Gaia Maduro is uh, a Brazilian Mata Fina. And the, t uh, the wrapper is from 2008. So it's quite well long fermented aged tobacco. So Mata, Brazilian Mata Fina tobacco or the Maduro tobacco is, is, is slightly sweeter in characters. It has the nice, nice pepperish touch to it, 
but more towards sweetness. And if you if you if you blend the cigar accordingly, saying you know to 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 enhance that flavor a bit more, so we're using uh, Dominican, Peruvian, Paraguay fillers for uh, for the Gaia Maduro, and um, I'm pretty sure that it is going to taste wonderful, you know, and especially with the beer. Well, I'm drinking beer out of a, out of a chalet. Well, because it has a bigger mouth, a uh, bigger opening, so when I take a sip, I can smell the beer as I'm consuming. And that is the idea when, when smoking a cigar or pairing a cigar with beer is to, to exactly pair. You know, like, to, I want to enjoy the flavors of cigar, I want to enjoy the flavors of the beer, I want to enjoy both together and not just wish wash. I don't want to smoke a cigar, take a puff, and wash it with the flavor of a lighter beer or a stronger beer, whatever it is. So you gotta pair it properly where I can enjoy both flavors simultaneously and I'm not wish washing the flavors. So I have that long finish of that bourbon, caramel, vanilla, very viscous, has the long finish, still lingering in my mouth. And now taking a puff of the Gaia. So the cigar. The characteristics of 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 Gaia is more tends towards more sweeter, more more velvety, more richer flavor profiles. Um, you definitely get that warm spices. That's the signature from our blending, but also nice tones of sweet sweet tobacco, sweet cream, coffee, you know, um, as, as I can, I can, I'm tasting the cigar right now in my, on my whole mouth and, and the bourbon just goes hand in hand. I'm, I'm enjoying both the flavor. I still can taste the bourbon, uh, uh, bourbon county stout. And, you know, I have not overpowered with the taste of the cigar, of this cigar or, or the beer. I'm, I'm enjoying both together. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See that reminiscence of, yeah, the, the, the warm spices is still there in my mouth of, of the cigar. It's not wish washing. That's, that's the major key. Mm. Wow. Well, I just began my day. I hope you have the same one. Pick up a cigar. Um, try to pair it with a beer. And if you cannot find this, you know, go with something else. Uh, try a different cigar if you cannot get Gaia. Um, I'm pretty sure it, it, it's commonly available these days. Um, but have a wonderful day. Make it smoky. Keep it smoky. Uh, get a cigar. Get a beer. Enjoy the day.